nothing gave me as much joy with the exception of once a Nick, always a Nick, Bobby Portis being an NBA champion, but nothing (laughs) gave me as much joy as seeing Marcus Johnson going down the street in Milwaukee with his shirt off, doing the J.R. Smith (laughs) incredible moment. And he's kind enough to join the show right now. We don't know if the shirt is still off, but we appreciate you making some time. That was incredible, man. What was going through your mind when you're going down the streets in Milwaukee with no shirt on? Well, you know, it was just kind of a spur of the moment, just going with the flow kind of a thing. But what really happened was that uh, Brandon Jennings, the author of an originator of Bucks and Six, he was uh, like a car ahead of me. And so he was he was slamming beers. He must have slammed about 20 beers. I swear to God, man. It was just, and he was taking his shirt off and throwing it into the crowd. They'd bring him another shirt. He put it on. He slammed a few more beers. So he kind of got me in the spirit, you know, it, it, with, it, with the exception of the slamming beers part. I, I don't drink anymore. I, I could probably out him you know, back in the day. But anyway, so so I started taking my shirt off, and, you know, it just got good to me. And, and I would slam some, like, Dasani bottled water, but all I can handle at my age. And uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, 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 you know, it was, it was just a fun time. And uh, we had a ball. I mean, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people they estimated was out there but the, but it was just nuts and it was it was so much fun and, and my family my wife in particular had a, had probably more fun than the, than the guys and the people who were on the sidelines uh, cheering us on and ladies and kids and all that so we had a ball man we had, we had a ball it was great PJ Tucker talked about uh, the team was full of dogs they just didn't know that they were dogs are you a dog do you know that you're a dog do you need PJ Tucker to help you become a dog Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Um, no, I, you know, I don't need PJ's help. It, it, you know, I'm a dog in my own arena now, just the broadcasting, acting, writing kind of arena. Uh, and just the tenacity to go out there and get it and be tough and get knocked down and knocked back and, and to get up and keep coming, you know. And, and that's what PJ means. And so PJ, for me, was one of the key acquisitions. And I told John Horstead yesterday on stage – uh, as we went uh, to uh, uh, the Deer District uh, right after the parade and uh, the, the, the throng of fans. But I told John Horse, look, man, you know, that was a key. Bringing in P.J., of course, Drew Holiday, great acquisition. But, but, but in terms of this team's edge, P.J. gave this. P.J. walked on stage with two magnum bottles of champagne. And he's, you know, he's, he's with it. He's spitting. He's, he's, he's. He, he was more, I'm going to post something on Twitter after we get off the air, man, old school 888. He was more animated talking to Jeff P than, than he was playing. I mean, he was just out of his mind. But but what a great, great guy. I talked to his mom uh, at the uh, championship celebration in the locker room. And I just got a lot of respect for him because, you know, he understands his role better than anybody maybe in NBA history. And he didn't get out of his role. He does what he does. And he relishes doing what he does to perfection. Marcus Johnson joins the show. He might still have his shirt off after the Milwaukee Bucks parade. Ben Lyons filling in for Rich on the Rich Eisen show. Uh, Such a crazy scene out there. It's an incredible story. Uh, The Milwaukee Bucks winning an NBA championship. You uh, have a special place, of course, in your heart for Milwaukee, having been an all-star there for many years. So what's it been like for you to connect with the older fans, the ones who have been through the, the rebuilds and, and the terrible seasons and the losing and the getting close and the conference finals and all the, the moments throughout the history of Milwaukee Bucks basketball. What's it been like for you to connect with some of those diehard older fans who are getting to experience this? Well, and I just give you kind of a, a, an example of what, what epitomizes that. So my broadcast partner, Jim Paschke, 35 years as a Milwaukee Buck announcer, I got there uh, after the championship years, obviously. And then I'll tell you, went through some lean years in Milwaukee. Um, he contracted COVID-19 a couple of weeks ago, still dealing with the symptoms. So he couldn't participate in any of this. I mean, how, how, how cruel is fate mm. for, for, for having that happen to him? But Giannis wears a T-shirt with a heart on one side and Jim Paschke's image on the other. Every fan, this is to answer your question, but all the fans... Uh, who were from my era, the older fans were like, do it for Jim, do it for Jim. But but it's, but it's such a strong connection because, as you mentioned, this franchise has seen some, some good teams. I mean, Michael Red, uh, Ben Baker got to the conference semifinals. Michael Red, those guys, I think they got to the they've got to the finals or were a bucket short against the Sixers one year, whatever it was. 
So it's been a lot of close calls along with my my era with the with the Larry Bird and the Dr. J Sixers and Celtics. We could never get get past. And so it was just a it was a vicarious kind of a thrill to be able to experience this with this with these guys. And when I was on stage with the guys, this is kind of how it really felt. I mean, I just took I took a seat in the back. Darvin Ham and and Chris Middleton, some of the other two people were like, "Come on up, you know, come on up on stage with in the front with us." And and I just no, no, I just want to sit back, let you guys enjoy the moment, but just allow me to be a part of it. And that's kind of how you know that that's the epitome of kind of how the older fans feel. This is your time, young fellows. But man. We sure are enjoying the moment, and thank you for that. Marcus Johnson joins the show, Milwaukee Bucks analyst. I'd like to introduce him as the father of Josiah Johnson, the king of NBA Twitter. You can follow Josiah, of course, at KingJosiah54. What was it like to experience the NBA Finals with your son? I know you guys had a chance to go out to a couple games together. Had a great time. Josiah came out uh, with good buddy and creative partner, uh, Michael Starberry. Uh, the, the, they, they, they joined us in Milwaukee. My oldest son, Chris, was there. That was for game uh, three. Then Chris stayed over for game four, and then I went out to Vegas to see my daughter win the AAU National Championship for 11 and under. Then we came back, my daughter and my my, my youngest son, and uh, my, my second youngest son, Mariah, he was on the Baldwin Hills TV show, whatever, back a few years back. But then we also, we all were there for game six, the clincher uh, in Milwaukee, and so we were back in the locker room in the champagne celebration. I mean, man, it was, I mean, you know, to experience that with your, with your kids, and again, that's all I posted all that stuff on Twitter. It, it's just such a, such a, a just a, a monumental kind of a moment, and and, and 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 I know in my life it is, and I, I can imagine something that they would just never ever forget being able to to experience all that stuff. Be on, be on, you know, be on the basketball court, down courts. The Bucks made sure that we had access to everything. We so were there courtside with Adam Silver and and and, and, and Malika Andrews talking to Chris and talking to Yana. We were right there. We we're experiencing everything, and it was just. Uh, one of those moments, man, that I'm so glad my wife flew out for the parade. She was going to pass on that, and she was like, I don't know what I was thinking. She had so much fun at that parade. So just to experience that with the family, it's, it's what it's all about, man, just to be able to share in the moment and share these kinds of lasting memories, man, that uh, that will be indelibly indelibly imprinted on, on the consciousness of my kids' minds forever. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.